Hey everybody, how you doing? Doug Berry here, I appreciate you being with me. We've got another update video here discussing what's been going on in our world right now and many, many things are happening that we need to take very seriously. In particular, I'm gonna be hitting you with something that is the most important piece that you and I all need when it comes to survival, all right? Well, when I say most important piece, I mean, yes, there is the defensive measure aspect there because face it, you can be you can be shot, you can be thirsty, you can be tired, you can be hungry, you can be cold, but if someone's trying to kill you, your first priority is not, not dying, okay? However, on a day-to-day -day basis, every single one of us needs one thing above everything else, and that is simply put, water. The body is made up of about 75 to 80% water. We need to stay hydrated. If we're not hydrated, we don't stay hydrated, we find all kinds of health problems start to develop. Now, the average person can go about three days without water, and then face it, that's going to about do it. Now, there's some things happening in the news right now that are causing us to be very concerned about the water situation for our entire country. And really, this should be something we look at all over the world. I want to encourage you to go out right now and download uh, free, okay, this opt-in that we have for our free water storage checklist. Click the link in the description below. Go on out and get this. I'm going to go through this uh, in just a moment here, but gives you a couple of moments here just to go out, click this link, go on out, download it, get it set up. Shouldn't take long here. And then in just a few moments, I'm going to go through, in particular, the water storage and purification equipment checklist. All right. And why am I going to do this? Well, because you haven't paid attention to the news lately. Let's just get you caught up to speed here. Pull up the article right here on my other monitor. This has been coming out in multiple, multiple areas, okay? it's We've got online videos. We've got uh, articles, news stories out there all across the place now from Yahoo News, CNN, MSNBC, PC Mag is this one right here, in fact. Cyber attacks are hitting U.S. water systems, EPA warns. Again, cyber attacks are hitting water systems throughout the United States. From the article, the country's water systems are being hit with an increasing number of nation state cyber attacks, according to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, which is urging U.S. states to dramatically up their IT security measures to guard against future infrastructure attacks. EPA Administrator Michael Reagan and Jake Sullivan, assistant to the president for national security affairs, wrote a letter this week detailing that China and Iran backed cyber attacks against U.S. water systems are taking place. Quote, disabling cyber attacks are striking water and wastewater systems throughout the United States. Reagan and Sullivan write, these attacks have the potential to disrupt, to disrupt the critical lifeline of clean and safe drinking water, as well as impose significant costs on affected communities. So again, go out, click that link right now, get that download. We're going to break down the checklist. This is a free download, all right? And we put this free download together because we really do want to give you the information that will help you be better prepared when it comes to these things. I'm pulling it up right now in front of me here. What this is, is a water storage checklist. We're going to cover some basic stuff. I want to go through this with you all. I want to help you get yourself in better position. This is a free download. So again, click that link in the description. Go get the download. I'm holding off for just a couple of moments here before I start breaking it down. Before I do, I want to address a couple of key things about why this is so important. Understand that these reports have been coming out more frequently. This is not conspiracy theory. This is not the type of thing that we should be looking at as, well, yeah, if it happens, but I don't think they'll let it happen. I want to remind you, February 21st, when United Healthcare, the arm of United Healthcare, Change Health, was hit with a cyber attack, what that did is disrupt according to the article, up to 70,000 pharmacies that are connected with Change Health, United Healthcare, they found disruptions and problems with everything from billing to patients actually getting their medication, and some of it life-saving medication. So patients, in some cases, had to decide whether or not they would fork over the money out of their pocket because they couldn't get insurance companies to work together with their pharmacies because of the cyber attack. They're still cleaning that mess up. Now, those who were involved in the cyber attack were paid a ransomware of somewhere in the neighborhood of 22 to $23 million to get out of the system. Well, when they left, all it did is it left it in disarray. They're still working on it right now, trying to get everything completely back up to speed. It's been over a month, just about a month actually right now at the time we record this. 
Why is that important? Why is that significant? Because if that threat, if that cyber attack rather, that took place against a healthcare company were to be applied towards water, water treatment plants, wastewater plants, if it were applied toward gas stations, banks, power grid, these types of things, we could be dealing with that for a long period of time. Now, you might be able to go a little while without your high cholesterol medication. In some cases, some of the medication is life-saving, but you might have to deal with some of that. Water's different. You got about three days. You got about three days without water and you're dead. I want you to imagine this scenario. Again, go out, click that link in the description below, get the free download. I'm gonna go through the checklist in just a few moments. You see it right there on the screen. You click it in the information below and you'll find it. Go get that free download. We'll go through it in just a moment here. But I wanna make something very clear. Paint this picture for you. You go to the, to the sink, you, you turn the handle, water does not come out of that faucet. Little Jimmy, little Susie standing there, mom, dad, I'm thirsty, I need something to drink. And you look at them, well, there's no water coming out. Turn to your spouse or, or you turn to your parents and you say, where's the water? <coughs> Pardon me, you should get a drink of water. Uh, where's the water? I don't know. Do we have anything stored up? Well, we got something in the refrigerator. Okay, well, what if that runs out later that day, that night, the next day? What if this water shortage goes on for a week? What if it goes on for even a few days? And all the stored water that you might have or might not have is gone. You know, down here in East Texas, where I am living right now, we had a few years ago something called Snowmageddon and hit the whole southern part of the U.S. Where we were here, there were several days where we were told, we were instructed not to drink the water because there were problems, power outages and such, which affected the water treatment plant and other issues. And so we went to the grocery store. People did. Now, I had water stored up, so I didn't have to worry about this, thank God. But there were people who went to the grocery store, and the grocery stores were rationing water. In one grocery store, they were saying you get two gallons per family, and that's it. The average person needs anywhere from minimum half a gallon and really better to have close to a gallon of water a day in order to have a good, healthy day-to-day -day life, Okay. This is something, again, that needs to be taken very seriously. Excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me. Imagine that. I got a cough while I'm talking about the need for water. But here we have a situation now where we've got cyber attacks and threats and warnings coming from potentially Iran and China. Now, they are already in the systems is what they're telling us, and these attacks have already occurred. So let's break down and go through. Hopefully by now you've downloaded that that free download, we're going to open it up to the, the, um, uh, the page four. Let's go to page four on the water storage purification equipment. Okay, download this. If you haven't, you can click that link there and get caught up. We'll break this down for a little bit here. Just take a few minutes, go over this. I want to help you consider and go through this so that you can be better prepared because it's not just about you, by the way. It's about those that God has entrusted to your care. I say that over and over again. We've got to think about the people that God has given to us, that God wants us to care for. You got children in particular. You got to be thinking about those children. So this is, again, not something that's conspiracy theory. It's not something that might happen. We're being told that it is happening and it could get worse. And so it is wise, it is clever to think ahead and have the water on hand beforehand. There's an old saying, it's out there. Maybe you've heard it. The worst time in the world to start digging as well. The worst time in the world to start digging the well is when you're thirsty. The worst time in the world to start digging a well is when you run out of water. It's best to have it all in advance. So let's be thinking about that. All right, gonna break this down. Page four of this free download that we have. Click the link in the description below if you just got on board with me here and you can download this. If you're watching this in the replay in the video, you can, you can still download this. Follow me along here. It's right there in the description down below. Water storage and purification equipment. We need to be thinking about this, storing up water first and foremost for ourselves and for loved ones, having it on hand. But then also we should have an alternative source to get to, and that's where we get into the purification and filtering equipment. But let's start with this first checklist right there on the left side of the page. Now you're not going to get everything on this checklist, but you can go through the checklist and decide what you want to get. Depending upon your circumstances, some of these things are going to be more applicable than others. For example, if you live in an apartment, you might not be getting this first item on the list, a 55 gallon barrel to store water. You could, but that might not be the first thing you're thinking of if you live in an apartment in a high-rise building somewhere. But let's start with that. 55-gallon barrel 
to store water. Now, there are multiple kinds out there. I highly recommend with any and all of these, uh, these pieces of equipment that we're talking about that you focus on BPA-free plastic. That's a type of plastic that is far less likely or simply does not leach the chemicals of plastic into the water. Okay. That's an important thing to remember. Excuse me. <coughs> mm. Pardon me. I hate to do that. But a 55 gallon barrel to store water. Now there's a way to store that water and we'll break that down in just a little bit to get it into that barrel. But you can put this anywhere. If you've got a garage, if you've got somewhere in your house, I know people who put it in their closets. Honestly, you put it in a closet, store it from there. You're going to run a garden hose into it. You're going to run the garden hose. You're going to run a filter through that, a carbon filter from an RV, basic RV filter. And you'll see this in this, uh, this download that you've taken. If you fast forward through it to page seven, you'll find the filling process and you'll see a picture of an RV carbon filter. They're very easy to use. I've done it myself several times. It's not a problem to do. Okay, so again, back to the checklist. 55-gallon barrel. Seven-gallon Aquatainer. Now, the Aquatainer is, it's a brand, Aquatainer. I have several of them. They're very handy, BPA-free plastic. They store well. They stack well. And they do have, many of them will have a valve on it. You flip it around and you've got access to the water. I do like that because it's a spigot that you flip the lever on. You get your water out of that. Far less likely to waste water spilling and if you're trying to flip a seven-gallon container over to pour out of it. We also recommend this five-gallon jerry can made by Scepter. Scepter is an incredible brand, very heavy-duty, very rugged. I keep one of these in my vehicle, in fact. It can handle a lot. It's military-grade type of material. Again, BPA-free plastic. So again, I like that as well. Five gallon lifesaver jerry can plus filter slash water purifier. And what that is, a full five gallons, it's got the filter built in. It's used by military in places like the UK. Now, lifesaver is the brand I recommend. I like Sawyer. I like Life Straw. I like Catadine. I like lifesaver. Lifesaver would probably be my first personal choice, but the other brands are really good as well. Lifesaver's got a great reputation for filtering out not just bacteria and such as that, but even viruses. It's got a great reputation for doing that. And I also have to say that Lifesaver is used, many of these brands are used in third world countries, but Lifesaver is very well known for going into all kinds of really harsh conditions in parts of the world where the rivers are basically brown and draw water from them and be able to drink out of them. So it's a really, really great brand. Now there is a difference, I should say, in this Download explains it. So again, click that link in the description, get the free download. It gets you out there and all this information is right there at your fingertips. You'll understand when you read through the download, there's a definition of filtering. There's a definition of purifying. We can't drink just filtered water. It's best that it's purified. Filtering can get the gunk out of it, the sediment out of it. Purifying, it makes it drinkable. Right. There's a difference in there. So that's explained in a little more detail in the download. Moving on, Lifesaver water bottle. I like the Lifesaver water bottle. It, again, it's one of my favorite items to work with. There are several different versions out there. One that I have here in my hand is called the Wayfarer. It's a great brand. It's a gr I'm sorry, Lifesaver is the brand. It's a great model. It's got a scavenger hose that you can attach to it and then another hose that releases the water out of the top. Then when you turn this here and you pump this several times, you start drawing water out of a lake or a stream or a river, and you can pump it right into a cup, a bottle, a bowl, you name it. Again, the Lifesaver water bottles are all great items to have. After that, the Catadyne Hiker Pro water filter pump. Again, it's a great brand. Very, very handy. Hikers, campers use these all the time, as well as the Lifesavers. So again, I recommend you consider that as well. Sawyer Mini Filter. I have one of these in my bug out bag in my vehicle. It is a handy little item that you can actually, in many cases, screw onto a standard operating Dasani or Aquafina water bottle. It's a great way in case you're out somewhere and you've got to use a Aquafina water bottle and scoop water out of a lake or a pond and you screw the Sawyer Mini on it and you're able to just squeeze through that and draw water from that filter. It's a really great setup. Life Straw Filter, also very similar to Sawyer, does essentially the same thing. And there are different versions to these. You can find water bottles like a Nalgene plastic water bottle with a Lifesaver or a 
or a Sawyer filter that, that basically drop into the bottle and screw onto the top. You can use this for regular day-to-day -day drinking water or something out of a, out of a stream. Water that's moving is always going to be best, okay? Like an active stream rather than a standing water, like a pond or a lake. But in some of these cases, you can draw from the pond or the lake. <clears throat> Pardon me. The Sawyer One Gallon Gravity Water Filtration System, also excellent as well. You can check on that. Now, what you're going to find is all of these are links. So you're going to be able to go on out to check these out right away. If you just click on that, it's a hot link and it gets you to these products right away. We wanted to do this because, face it, this is a dangerous time. We've got threats coming now, and they have admitted that these threats are active. They're in our water systems already. All you have to do is go out to, to YouTube and do a search for news stories on this particular problem, and you'll find, I saw two or three today, interviews with people from water treatment plants who are all admitting, yep, they're in our systems, and we know they're there. So far, it hasn't created such a problem that it's affected drinking water, but they're in the systems. Okay, they've gotten through the security uh, you know, walls there, and they're now actively in these systems. Look what they did to United Healthcare. If they do this to our water treatment plant, we're in much bigger trouble than any of us, I think, realize. So that's why we're doing this. That's why we wanted to give you the free download. That's why we want to give you these hot links to get you out to these items right away so you don't have to spend your time spinning your wheels in the mud trying to figure out, where do I go? What do I do? These are great brands, great purification filtering systems, and we do need to be looking at having backup water. At the very least, storing water in our homes, making sure that we're using, again, BPA-free plastic containers, or you're buying water bottles from the grocery store. You can get the cases of water, 24, 48, whatever you, you want to get. Try to get the ones that are BPA-free plastic. It'll say that on the bottle. I've got several cases of that myself, BPA-free plastic, and then store the water in your home in places that are not subject to extreme heat or extreme cold, and hopefully keep them out of light. Light and heat are the things that aggravate what's in the water and can cause things to grow. Now, if it's, if it's manufactured, plastic, you know, the plastic that you're, you've got good BPA-free plastic, and it's put together in a factory somewhere, they're going to seal it a certain way. You're going to be in much better shape to last a long time. Now, you can always take that water, run it through some of these filters that I'm talking about, and you're in great shape. This is not a complicated thing. It's a matter of acting on it, though. And that's the key thing. We've got to take the steps to act on it. Because we're talking about life and death. Honestly, when it comes to water, this is a life and death type of situation. This isn't, I mean, not that medications aren't bad enough with the United Healthcare and the change health situation. But we're not talking about, oh, I couldn't get money out of the bank. Oh, the gas stations are down. I can't get gas from my car. This can be, I'm dehydrating. You can go about one full day without any hydration and you'll start getting a little disoriented. You go a couple of days, you're going to really start finding some hurt is coming on. By day three, your body starts shutting down and it's a painful process. As the saying goes, you can go about three minutes without oxygen. You can go about three days without water. You can go about three weeks without food. But that water issue, that's key. So we want to make sure that we're addressing it right away, especially when we see the threats that are out there in the news right now. Now, what you see underneath the gravity water filtration system is Ed Goodloe's Aerobic Stabilized Oxygen. That's a great little product. And you see it later on in the, in, the, um, in the download that we've given you here, the free download. It's on page six. Go out there, click that link in the description, get this free download. You'll see a picture of it on page six, an explanation of how this Goodloe's Aerobic Stabilized Oxygen works. Now, we've personally tested this, gone at least two years with some 55-gallon containers. It's all spelled out in the download. And put the ED Goodloes in it, pull the water out of a out of a out of a garden hose, ran it through a filter, put the ED Goodloes in it. It sat in a hot Texas garage for a couple of years. And yet, after opening it and drinking the water, there were no problems with it at all. Absolutely drinkable, smelled fine, nothing floating around, nothing weird, nothing green. Okay. So ED Goodloes. This aerobic stabilized oxygen is good stuff. Click the link. It'll get you out there for that. If you want to store water a long time and add that to it, it's a great option. The RV water filter, as I've mentioned, and you'll see it again a couple pages up. It's page seven on the download. You'll see an example of it there attached to a wall. Again, simple to use. I've done it many times, filled up many gallons of water with this. RV usage, people all over the place are using it. 
That's where you want to go. It's a carbon filter and it's going to get you started to fill up your system. Okay, easy to get to. Link is right there for you. Drinking water hose. Different hoses are better for different things. So find the right kind. All right, 55 gallon barrel pump. This is an obvious one because you got all that water down in that barrel. You got to get it out. So getting the right kind of pump to do that, pretty critical as well. Or you pour it over and you know dump it out or siphon it out. You can always do those things as well. But keep that in mind. That's what you're going to have to deal with. And then the last thing on the list is a Berkey gravity filter. I have one of these sitting on my kitchen counter. I love it. It works great. Now, again, right now I'm using it by putting just regular tap water in it, and it's making my water cleaner. We get to a point when we have to start getting water from another source, a local river or stream or lake of some sort. That's when things change a little bit. And all these pieces that I'm talking about, all these pieces you're seeing in that download become much more critical. So again, I really encourage you to click that link in the description. Go get this free download. Address the water situation now. These threats are real. They're coming at us left and right. This is not a fear tactic. This is not doom and gloom. This is reality. All right? It's a fact. It's not fear. And remember this. Before I wrap this up, I want to tell you this. Remember that there are people that are counting on you. If we are part of the solution by finding ways to take care of these things, be better prepared, food, water, shelter, medical, and defense, these are things we offer in our Be Ready Emergency Preparedness course, which you can find at brcoalition.com. If you are interested in going to a whole nother level of preparation, click that link, gets you out to brcoalition.com, and you'll find there uh, an entire course that really breaks down enormous amount of information on food, water, shelter, medical, and defensive measures, and many subcategories that fall underneath those. We focus on have, helping you be better prepared for three days, three weeks, three months, and a year plus, okay? And these are things we need to be considering. But I'll close with this. Not only are people counting on us to be men and women that are morally grounded, close to God, and prepared, but what it does for society as a whole, if you're the type of person that does not fall into anxiety and fear, but falls into understanding the sense of urgency and being better prepared, is that then people around you can count on you. And what that does is it brings a sense of peace and order to a chaotic situation. In other words, the better prepared we are, especially with the basics, like what we offer in the BREP course and what we're talking about here with water, the better prepared we are, the more of the solution we bring, the more peace we provide, and the more order and calm we bring to, again, the chaos that might be bubbling up in our world. So whatever you do, take the steps now. Remember, the worst time in the world to start digging as well is when you're already thirsty and the water has been shut off. Get that water lined up now and everything else that is necessary. This is the things that God wants us to do, to be better prepared for ourselves and for those that God entrusts to our care. I appreciate you being with me. Share this information with others. Don't forget to click that link, get that free download, share that information. Let's get this word out. Let's help many more people be better prepared, body, mind, and soul. I appreciate you being with me. God bless and strengthen you. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon.